Greetings, Cosmeteers, and welcome back to the Dapper One and Dapper Two. Ah, it's nice to be able to welcome you back to two ships. Now, as you can see, we've had a bit of a name change. We've finally settled on a name. It has been long enough. There have been enough suggestions now, and by far and away, the most commonly suggested types of names have been insect names, and by far and away, the most commonly suggested of all the insect names has been the Scarab. So, here we go. The Scarab has been christened, and uh, we've got its registration down there, the Dapper 1 and the Dapper 2. Don't have a name for the Dapper 2 yet, but I hope you like the, uh, the, the kind of theme that we've gone for here. As promised, we're going to be uh, upgrading the Dapper 2. We're going to go uh, a little bit more into industry. But before we do that, I we're starting to run into a bit of a problem. That problem is... We don't have enough fame to get more crew, and I feel we're going to need more crew. There are, we can make some savings in making the ships a little bit more efficient, but ultimately we're going to need more crew. Easily one of the, the ways that we can do that, or, or rather the easiest way to do that, is probably to blow up some of these bases, because uh, we're not getting any more fame for the levels of quests we're doing. And there are at least three uh, base quests I believe we've seen for us to take on, and uh, a lot of people in the comments are desperately trying to uh, to get me to uh, go and take one of these on. Uh, apparently our ship is more than capable of doing it, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab a couple of quests first, and I'm just going to leave the Dapper 2 sat around here for the time being. It can come out with us and help salvage the bases. In fact, salving, uh, salvaging the bases is going to fund, I hope, the redesign of the Dapper 2's systems, and maybe a little bit of a redesign of the Dapper 1 as well. I shall go and grab these quests and meet you over at a base. Well, I mean, I was on the way to pick up some more bounties, but if you insist on dying before I can do that, sure, fine, whatever. Now, we have got one, one floater here, so I may want to pick my fight a little bit more carefully. Let's just approach for now. In fact, we might not have to approach all that close at all in order to see what we can attack. There is a uh, asteroid right there. We can already get eyes on this station. Right, well, in that case, Dapper One, if you could, please, wipe out... Well, will these be able to attack? I don't know. Let's go for the... Uh, well, actually, if I'm approaching, I probably will. So let's let's get in close enough to wipe out that uh, that missile system before it engages. Let's find out about the rest of the ships down here. Let's have a quick look. Cannons there, missiles, missiles, and indeed more missiles. Okay, so this is a very missile-heavy setup. I believe this has decided to attack. Oh, the missiles are away. So it has decided to, to take a shot at me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, has this ship decided to? Has this missile platform? I mean, it can tell it's being attacked, so it's just launching missiles in my general direction. Thankfully, my two tiny point defense are up to the task. It looks like we've got ordnance coming in. Uh, can we easily get to you? I think burning through this cannon will probably be the easiest way for me to do it. Uh, I do have some more missiles heading in, though. Oh, that's from the ordinance. Fair enough. Uh, right, there we go. Another one popped. Right, we've got the bouncer heading down as well. This one does not have any particular uh, missile system, but these are worrisome. So try and pop those first. Let's uh, slow it down just a little bit. We may or may not be able to uh, see that. No, we can't. That's fine. We should be able to in just a moment, though. It is close enough that those disruptor bol uh, bolts are hitting me, though. Something I dislike enormously. But there we go. That shield... For those who have been worried that the shields are going down, they are. But it's not because that anything is getting to the shield system. It's because the disruptors are affecting the shield system straight away. All right, let's pop these engines as they try to uh, head out again. Oh, we uh, ended up with a rock between us. That's a bit rude. Uh, are we going to be... <laughs> we are a little bit a little bit too far out. The bouncer is heading back to its uh, safe haven. Right, well, while it's doing that, let me go and double check in on the Dapper 2. Dapper 2 is on its way ever so slowly. We've managed to pop one missile defense system and a, uh, a ship in the time that the Dapper 2 has just been making its way around the sun. 
And that goes to show how slow the Dapper 2 is, unfortunately. We are going to need to fix that. Right, we've got our enemy. They're coming back in for another attack. It won't have been a very uh, wise move, if I'm perfectly honest. There we go. But it does look like I'm going to have to melt through most of this ship before it will give up the ghost. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. I'll get this finished off, and then I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to attack the base proper. Okay, time to pop some more turrets. The ships are all gone and have complete, be completely salvaged. The Dapper 2 is on its way back for its second trip to uh, fill up and drop off at the uh, station. We're actually making quite a lot of money <laughs> with the Dapper 2. I, I'm genuinely amazed by how much more efficient our salvaging operations are having a dedicated hauler. Thank you very much for the suggestion. It was extremely good. Uh, we're going to pop you much the same way. Always going for the cockpit, not going for anything else. The missile systems don't really seem to be able to overwhelm our point defense currently. What am I shooting at? Oh. Oh, I... Hmm. I see. <laughs> uh, let's, let's not bite off more than we can chew. Uh, missiles inbound. Let's turn around to face with the point defense. That was a little bit closer than I would like. And pop. There we go. Missiles are pretty much one of the only things I really worry about uh, at this stage. Right. I would like to approach you. Specifically, let's destroy that. And let's destroy it from about here, if we can. Way outside their range, but very much within our range. Uh, <laughs> the uh, systems are just attacking the armor. I, I don't really feel we need to. I feel that we could just hold fire until we get through. So, you know, how, how about we don't? Uh, I'm going to give you a command group of one, and I'm going to tell you cancel weapon targets or power down. There we are. No more, no more shooting until I allow you. Are you in position now? You more or less. Oh, okay. You can turn on your laser system again. There we go. This way, we're going to burrow through this and hopefully leave as much of this station alive as we can. Right, that can uh, go back off. There we go. Thank you. And now I would like you very much to make your way down here, all the way back around. We're going to aim for this bridge, so we're going to want to be... Ooh, that's going to actually be a little bit of a difficult angle. Let's uh, approach from here, maybe. About there, yeah. And then once we're in position, we'll try and pop this bridge, and we could even take over this station if we really wanted to. I don't think we do. I think I would much prefer to uh, remove all of the uh, systems and then use it to fund a redesign of our current ships. But there we go. Base cleared. Now, we do need to hand in this bounty, and perhaps we could go and clear out some of the other bases as well while we're at it. Or, alternatively, you know, we could go and have a little bit of fun down here while Dapper 2 is doing other things. Dapper 2, how are you doing with those other things? Uh, you finished salvaging the ship. You may as well just uh, load up. Getting a salvaging laser, or rather a mining laser, which also is effectively a salvaging laser, on that ship is going to be absolutely amazing. Let's uh, go ahead and pop down loot. There we are. We will come back for our loot in a little while. Gonna pop some more enemies and then go hand in a couple of bounties, see if we can't get some more crew, and then come back down here for a bit of a redesign. All right, now this one should give us a nice big lump of fame. 30 fame for this, as well as a good bit of extra reputation and a decent payout, honestly. So uh, I agree, I shouldn't have been holding off on that for as long as we were. But there we go, we can fill out, or well, almost fill out the, the beds. There were 185 crew, I mean, I could go and pop another base in order to uh, top up the crew completely, and that is kind of tempting. But we can come back to that in a little while. In fact, while we're here, the next thing I would like to do for both the Dapper 1 and the Dapper 2 is to get a better defensive system. And that, I want the flak battery. Oh, it requires ammo. Okay. Powerful defensive system that can destroy enemy missiles, lasers and, lasers and projectiles. Can also inflict moderate damage on enemy ship. Lasers, you say. Okay. Um, I will take it. But uh, I'm not sure I'm actually going to install it, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, simply because it requires ammo. Now, I would like to. We've got a little uh, tutorial over here. Cannon, uh, cannons and railguns are projectile weapons that use ammunition instead of power. Ammo can be bought cheaply at stations or manufactured from sulfur in an ammo factory. Oh. 
Okay, well, maybe we're going to go down the uh, production of ammo route. That might not be a bad idea. All right, let's uh, head on back to the loot, and we shall rendezvous when we're ready to do a little bit more redesigning on our ships. Okay, then, it's time to start working on the Dapper 2. Now, I've got a couple of ideas of what we want to do here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap the capacitor and the reactor, and the reason for that is that we use a lot more power at the aft than we do at the fore. Uh, we do have a couple of thrusters, uh, but we don't really pulse these very often, and additionally, the crew quarters doesn't really pull much power, whereas when these are all running at full whack, they drink the energy. So let's go into uh, editing mode. Uh, just slide that to the side. Let's not do that. Let's uh, remove you from there. There we go. And we will slide this on down and slide that one across. There we go. In fact, I could just swap these around, I suppose. Uh, I see no reason not to. Let's uh, pop that one there. And we can have this go straight in since it's going to be nice and useful. Uh, this can go straight up like so we'll have two doors down here i know i'm using a lot of doors down here but uh, i think this will uh, work out quite well for us now the next thing that we would like to do do i have enough materials nearby for us to work up to a mining laser or a salvaging laser as the case may be oh give me a moment okay as the uh, scarab is heading back from the station we can continue the design down here. Now, I do easily have all of the materials I'm going to need to build a mining laser. Now, where are we going to build the mining laser is a bit more of a question, though. Uh, does this require power? I, I can only assume it does, as it's a laser. And I'm thinking we're probably going to want the the like factory to be a midship and have storage for an aft. So that's going to require that I effectively just bump this down. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no real blueprinting system, uh, though perhaps there is. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I've... Oh, look at that. Asking ye shall receive. How marvelous. Okay, well, that's going to save me an awful lot of time. Let's cut this. And, well, we'll just pop it down by here for the time being. But uh, that is going to <laughs> really help out. Now, I would like a mining laser to be somewhere in here, I would say. Let's uh, go ahead. Oh, this can only be accessed from the side. Well, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, we can make that happen. Let's pop that in there. We'll have a little bit of extra uh, armor at the back, perhaps. Or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll shunt that around. But I also picked up a couple of other things, namely cannon ammo factory and the steel factory. Now, I have had some comments saying, don't bother with steel. It's a huge factory. It, 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 it is a 4 by 4 And steel is relatively cheap. Still, I kind of like the idea of, of having all of these things being uh, being managed by the, uh, the Dapper 2. Now, given that this is a relatively small device, I guess we could have it somewhere down here without too much issue. I think that should be fine. Uh, this will allow us to then just yoink all of this back up without too much problem at all. I would want a, uh, a walkway down here as well, so let's just add that in nice and fast, and then we are going to pull all of this back up, and then I'll shape the armor as necessary. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, and uh, the devil one just had to make a quick run for some extra tri-steel, but I think this is a good design. Now, to cover what we're going to be changing, uh, first of all, we're still going to have a fairly large crew quarters for command, uh, and I'm not really sure that we want that, so on that second thought, you know what, we're just actually going to uh, replace that, and we're going to do it for a very specific reason as well. First and foremost, I don't need that much command, but I was getting a little bit worried that we didn't have any uh fire uh fire extinguishers up here so that will do there we go we've just added a little bit of extra safety there uh we are of course having the mining laser uh the sulfur rather the cannon almond factory the steel factory down here we're also going to have a bed for the crew needed to man the mining laser i may as well put a door in there as well uh we're going to have a capacitor down here to have uh, nearby fuel for the mining laser and everything else. I'm not going to worry too much about the energy efficiency on this ship. 
I'm going to expect them to just not do things sometimes whilst they allow the energy reserves to, to build back up. We don't need to build an energy reserve capable of running our mining laser all the time. It's not going to be running all the time. Likewise, our factories aren't going to be running all the time. Granted, though, these three are probably going to be running more or less at the same time. Uh, we've got some extra crew quarters down here then for logistics and engineering. So, with that done, make it so. Okay. Right, so, first and indeed foremost, we need to paint the rooms the correct colour. Gunnery, right there. Logistics can be here, engineering can be there, and then navigation all the way up here. And at this point, I'm going to want to transfer over quite a few more crew from the Dapper One. So, let's go ahead and do that. Transfer crew. I can just do it the other way around. Uh, no, don't put any in the base. Thank you very much. Uh, right, we're going to pull away... Let's say we are, we're only going to need a few engineers, but they will also primarily operate these. So let's let's take a full 10 out of there. That should be more than enough for everything that we're going to need. Okay, there we are. Enough finagling. I think we're good at this point. Uh, you really shouldn't be... Oh, wait. Avak forgot. Avak forgot the gunnery don't man mining lasers. <laughs> Ha! Huh. Right. Oh, uh, okay then. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll uh, do away with you two as well. Gunnery don't need to be here either. Uh, I do apologize for that. <laughs> That's what I get for forgetting that I'd set up the roles to uh, give uh, engineers a little bit of pew-pew time. I felt bad, okay? The Gunners always get, get the fun times shooting down pirates, but the engineers, they're just, they're loading the fuel into the into the thrusters. I wanted to give them a little bit of fun as well. We've gotten rid of the crew quarters for, for gunnery and replaced that with another uh, access hatch. I feel that, that is going to be quite useful because we're going to be doing a lot of salvaging with this ship. And speaking of salvaging with this ship, uh, first and foremost, actually, I think there's a load of stuff out there. So let's just see how much more effective the crew are now that they can actually just jump out. Why did you go all the way down there instead of going there? Well, I guess you, you decided that that was the fastest way. And who am I to tell you that you're wrong? Uh, I can already see that we're going to need to expand this out a lot. But I love the fact that we do have a blueprint system that is going to make this so much easier. But let's go and have a look at how this mining laser does its job, shall we? Let's have you... Uh, actually, let's uh, remove that. So what does the mining laser look like? The mining laser looks like that. Can the mining laser... Mi oh, look at that. Will it hurt our crew? No, it doesn't seem to matter. And because it is a hull-mounted, or rather, like, it's a deck gun, effectively, uh, that is so much faster than regular crew doing this. That is absolutely wonderful. Let's have a look inside and see how that's using... Oh, yeah, that is drinking power from the... Uh, capacitor unfortunately well i guess i'm not too terribly surprised by that but we're not going to need it to be again running at peak efficiency all the time we just need it in short bursts so i'm not going to give them a uh, better reactor just for that and, and nothing nothing speaks to me more than the idea that the the freighter is running with like old civilian tech whereas our warship has got like bleeding edge reactor technology though typically it would be more the other way around it wouldn't have the larger reactor it would have the smaller one with, with you know again bleeding edge miniaturization so it's able to output the same but for half as much room so you know at that point if you did need just more power then you would just build it the same the same size as the the commercial version and it would be outputting ridiculous amounts of power but oh well uh right so with that done the next step is to actually have a look at how this works have we got any uh, good asteroids around here it doesn't look like we do uh oh well let's have a look in the scarab the scarab hasn't got a, a lot going on but we are going to want to add in our newest and greatest well actually let's check out these shields Oh, we need crystals for the shield? Oh, wow, that is a big shield, though. I can see why. But it does need clearance on the front, so it would require quite a redesign, but I could have the shield there and there, and it would give a massive dome. Now, I wonder if this shield array... I can only assume that the shield array is going to be like the thrusters and would effectively be able to be built inside the, the ship and, and not uh, cause any particular issues. 
Okay, and now time to look at the Flak Battery versus the Humble Point Defense. First, let's look at the stats, because obviously the Flak Battery is... Oh, actually, that, that is a lot bigger. Oh, my lord, that is a lot bigger. Uh, this better be amazing. All right, so our Point Defense, power use per uh, shot is 0 0.04, so it's about one... Uh, sorry, half a uh, battery per second. Speed is 350 meters. Speed of what? The shots, the projectiles themselves... Um, let's actually have a look at that. Uh, speed 200 meters a second, speed infinite... Oh, that's the flak battery, yeah, infinite... Well, hmm, how about you? This 320, 240, ion beam infinity speed? Okay. So, the flak battery will get where it's going instantly. Now, that's an interesting, uh, interesting choice. Uh, but carrying on with the, the details, um, random spread is a degree, turret turning speed is extremely fast, firing arc is 120 degrees, range is 150 meters, rate of fire is 15 shots a second, damage versus shot is 150, and damage 35. Uh, I guess 35 is against, like, hull, armor plates, that sort of thing, but against actual missiles or whatever it is, the cannon rounds, they'll do 150 damage per shot, and considering they're firing 15 shots a second, that's pretty good. Right, flak battery, no power use. Okay, you're going up a little bit in my estimations. Only ammo use. All right. Uh, speed, now that's the really interesting thing, infinity. So it's, wherever that thing goes off, it goes off immediately after being fired. Uh, turret speed is a lot slower. Uh, random spread is twice as bad. Firing arc is, oh, that's that's really bad, really bad actually. It's only forty degrees versus one hundred and twenty. It's one third. Uh, range is the same. Rate of fire is a lot slower. Uh, salvo one shot every quarter of a second. So it fires four times, four four times independently. Now that's going to be interesting, given the random spread. Having four shots that fire independently, just uh, a quarter of a second apart, may help with that random spread if, if the first shot is off by a, a bit while well, the next one might might be on target uh damage area is four meters i guess it doesn't actually matter too much then as long as it's approximate to where you were aiming and a lot of damage per shot very short range so realistically you should never be using this as point defense uh sorry as a like a anti-ship weapons but a thousand eight hundred damage per shot that's very very nice so we're going to be using four ammo a second on this, though. We've got an ammo capacity of 92. All right. But dear goodness, this is huge. All right. Well, I like the idea of having it at the, the uh, front of the ship, but it's just where am I going to... Uh, I think we're going to need a fairly extensive redesign of the, of, the, of the four for this. This does kind of tie into the desire to move my reactors elsewhere, and it would also tie into the desire to get... Uh, my um second pair or rather completing each pair of ion weapons okay so that's going to be a bit more of an extensive redesign that i am ready for just now instead i'm gonna have the dapper to start to deconstruct this base whilst the uh, dapper one the scarab heads on to find the next base uh which should be uh, that's not it. I, well, I've got a couple of things we could do. We've got a pirate base over there. Uh, we could go and peek at what this signal is and then head on down to the pirate base. I think that's the way we're going to make this happen. Okay, time to get into a bit of a scrap, I think. Let's try and peel off the enemy defenders before we try and tangle with any of the turrets. Let's see, what kind of ship have you got? I mean, ideally, I'd love to just laser you in the back, but uh, sadly, not an option for us right now, I, I fancy. Uh, still, we'll aim straight down the middle. It makes the most sense. Hopefully, you'll approach so I don't have to uh, approach the... Uh, turret. Uh, thankfully, you are complying. Very much appreciated. 
Uh, we are taking some shots from the ship over there. We're unable to get away fast enough, which is an interesting one. Uh, let's go for your reactor. Right now, though, we've taken a little bit of damage here and there, but nothing particularly bad. The asteroids are becoming a real pain in the backside, though, I will be honest. They're causing me more damage than the enemies are. Uh, wreckage. There we go. I've been marking down things as I discover them. Titanium there, some wreckage. We even found some uranium on the way up, which I was uh, very glad to have found. Another item of wreckage here. Am I going to come back for all of this? Not on camera, obviously. Uh, but I see no reason uh, to just leave it there. You know, don't kill someone if you're not going to make use of... Or, I mean, don't kill something if you're not going to make use of... Uh, shut up. You heard nothing. But I'm just saying, use all of the kill. That's that's where I'm going with this, all right? Shh. Right, there we go. A little bit of repair. Now, let's have a look at you. Okay, so much easier. Point defense turrets. Uh, missile turret over here, but I don't mind that one at all. Let's uh, just approach. What have we got over here? More cannons again. More point defense and more point Just lots of point defense, really. Okay, well, I'm totally down with that. All right, let's take that out. Very nice indeed. We may as well just pop you. There we go. Bringing the beam together. Thank you. Honestly, considering these are just point defense platforms, I don't even think we need to worry too much about uh, the main base. I'll just attack it from over here, I think. Just outside of its range. Close enough that we can get a good angle on the thing where I'm trying to destroy. There we go. Please don't fire that until I'm ready. Come on now, you know the drill. Ah, my lord. Thankfully, control groups. Oh dear, it is now... Fi really? You're facing me? That's just rude. Okay, fine. We'll pop the other things then instead for, for the time being. Uh, or, or we'll continue trying to pop you. Um, okay, never mind. You know what? It's actually very easy to just destroy a base. We weren't even looking. Right, so that's second base down. Uh, there's going to be loads of loot over here, and I probably should drop a marker as well, because otherwise... Well, I've got a marker, actually, the pirate base one. Uh, the last pirate base. Well, let's get over there and uh, clear this out. How's the Dapper 2 doing down here? Little by little. Bit by bit, making its way, though uh, every now and then it stops using its mining laser for some reason. I'm not sure why. Let's uh, reposition over here. Ah, maybe maybe it was something to do with the uh, the position of the mining laser. I'm not really sure. Either way, carry on. Right, we are most of the way there at this point with the dapper one. I do love this to be able to look between them. Right, bring it back as we're attacking the base. Okay, while the Dapper 2 is uh, offloading some of its precious, precious cargo, let's get the Dapper 1 in here to just punch a hole into the innards of this ship if we can. We may as well just go straight for the reactor at this point, I think. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly large reactor. I think it's, yeah, it's just a small reactor core. I was trying to take care not to damage something really precious, when in reality, it's, it's really not. Uh, let's bring us back to about here, let's say. That should give us ample position to be able to take on the reactor core. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't really want to. Ship, please stop misbehaving. There we go. That's better. We should be able to just burrow straight through at this point. And pop. There we go. Fame level up. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Fantastic. Right. Dapper 2 is done. Let's get back down here. I mean, we could go really anywhere at this point, but let's let's be thorough and actually strip one base at a time. Obviously, I'm not going to force you to watch that, but we should be able to get enough parts together to at least upgrade the Dapper 1 a little bit more before we wrap up this episode. Right, so destroy this base. There you go. Payment received. Very nice indeed. We've got some exploration missions. I guess I will actually pick up the uh, exploration missions. I'm not sure I'm going to go and do them. And I don't really intend to take the faction conflicts, at least not yet. I don't understand enough of what's going on with that to uh, feel comfortable doing it. Wow, really? Still five shy? That's just so intensely distressing. Uh, we need to go to Cicero Station for the next... Oh, actually, I guess that one's going to give us everything we need. And we also need to check out that unknown signal over there. Right. Okay. Dapper 2. Let's see what we can pick up. Everything, hopefully. 
Get everything. What we need is some sort of cargo tractor beam. That would be amazing. Okay, here we are. If you notice, we've actually been getting loot out of these stations. We've been getting sulfur and we've been getting iron and we have been converting them as well, which is actually kind of amazing when you think about it. Uh, that was completely a surprise to me. I hadn't noticed myself. Right, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Now, the chief thing I would like to do is relocate the reactors. I would like them more amidship than anything else, but additionally, I would very much like two more ion beams. Now, what I'm thinking is if we place the ion beam here and here, then that is going to necessitate we move these away, and they're not going to fit conveniently into this space. This is going to be four tiles wide, not, uh, not six. We could make it six, though if we wanted to, by just pushing the ion beams out a little bit to each side. That's going to require a little bit more of a redesign, but now that we've got the means to just uh, cut and paste in a way, I think that is definitely something that we can do. Uh, the other things that we would need to do then is, is uh, bring this down and possibly fatten up the sides a little bit. I don't know how else to say it, really. We would need to move these uh, kind of thrust on cells out a little bit more, because I do not want a reactor to just be sat there with, like, one bit of armor there. I would want this to be significantly better armored. That being said, we're barely using the two reactors we've got. We might actually be able to make do with one. Now, that would be a very, very interesting change. Uh, we could perhaps move that, that one reactor down into the middle and then rely on capacitors dotted around the ship and our logistics crew. We've now got a full crew capacity, or complement, sorry, to move the, uh, the batteries where they need to be. That would be a very interesting test and something we could do. All right. Give me a few moments to consider our options. Can we all just agree on how ridiculously cool it is that I can just casually split the whole thing up and move them around and then put them back together again. That is amazing. And there we go. Shockingly, we have all of the materials we need. Uh, I mean, I did go out of my way to make sure we had enough diamonds, but I'm kind of surprised that this redesign has required as little as, uh, as this. We are actually going to gain uh, extra um, fissiles. Now, this single reactor is going to be powering everything on this ship. I'm kind of tempted to go and see about buying the next reactor up because whilst I I think maybe with, uh, with the efficiency improvements that I've made, this would work, it would just be a nicer option to have the, the big boy reactor in here. But this is the, the general uh, design that we're going for. So just to cover what we've done, I've moved the shields up a little bit. I've also streamlined the armor around our uh, flak batteries. The flak batteries have a, a much more forward-facing arc, so this isn't blocking anything out anymore. That should make a, uh, at least one or two people happy. Uh, we've got a capacitor on each side, right next to the ion and the shield. Got the bunk for gunners. Now we're actually gonna need more gunners than these two bunks will provide because each of these requires two, each of these requires three. So we've got an extra small bunk for the gunners down here. We've got a, a dedicated storage on each side for ammo. This will then help to resupply the flak batteries if they uh, start depleting. We've got uh, lateral thrusters over here. That, the only lateral thrusters, uh, I will note. We probably need to fix that. And we could possibly do something like that down here. But I've extended out our point defense cannons on the side because if our flak batteries weren't able to shoot the missile, then it's probably going around the ship. So then I wanted some more on there. I haven't expanded out our, our point defense at the back. But again, I, I'm hoping these will be able to shoot down anything that's uh, trying to get around us. I had to move around our crew quarters a fair bit, but uh, overall, I'm fairly happy with the design. We even still have a little bit of extra storage, though perhaps later on we'll replace this with some very, very large thrusters. The largest thrusters take a long t spool up time, and they, they, they reach their maximum speed a lot slower. 
So those really only make sense for get between A and B kind of thrusters. You want the smaller thrusters then, which react a lot faster for maneuvering in combat, for example. But okay, I think this is going to work. Uh, what we're going to do first, though, is go and grab the blueprint, if we can afford it, for the large reactor. Be right back. All right, then, here we go. It costs us 18,000 to pick this up, but if I slap this in and thus lose the uh, the second medium reactor, it does actually work, and that gives th both ion weapons direct access to the reactor. In fact, at this stage, I could even pull that down, which has the added benefit of a uh, really twofold benefit. One, a, a direct access to uh, the sensor array and the control room. So topping these up with batteries is going to be even easier. But also allows us to add in an extra layer of defense for the reactor itself. Because this is going to be a very, very big target. And I strongly suspect that enemies are going to start trying to barrel down straight through this, uh, this crystal. Which is a bit of a problem. Maybe we should even go for the uh, maximum types of shields. Which uh, could be... Well, uh, that's a kind of a big, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very big uh, change. But I could extend the, the barrel out a little bit, I suppose. That might not be the worst idea. Would this work? Oh, well, actually, we're a little bit shy on the required coils now, and I could only imagine that this would make it even worse. Uh, it would give me some invalid blueprints, but let me just take that away and see what we <laughs> Yes, that is way more than I can afford right now. But it's a possible upgrade in the future. Uh, okay, so I need to grab a couple more bits and bobs. But then we are going to upgrade this ship enormously. All right, then. To purchase all of the requirements, uh, I brought both the Dapper 2 and the Dapper 1 over to the station here so I can just make the purchase. It's only going to cost us an extra 3000 I think so. Make it so. Boom, there you go. That is an awful lot of stuff that people are going to have to do all of a sudden. Now, I do need to uh, reset the crew spaces. There we go. We are going to want, uh, well, realistically, two command uh, areas. Uh, yes, two of them. And then two engineering. And then two logistics. All right, let's see this go. Now, these are triple capacity batteries. So... Whilst uh, we have added a fair bit of power consumption, well, actually only two things that, that consume power, we have drastically improved the efficiency of carrying power around the ship. They're not carrying, you know, just energon cubes. These are plasma batteries. I, I've seen a couple of comments. Like, this, this is ridiculous. They're carrying energy. Well, they're not carrying energy. They're carrying a battery. In the same way that you can pick up a battery and carry it around. Look, you're carrying energy. It's not in its raw electrical form. It's chemical energy. You know, but... Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, let's have a look at this thing in full swing. Now, our engineers are helping out right now, making sure to move things around. But once these capacitors are charged up, I should imagine that we're not really going to have uh, much worry at all. Crew are moving to and from in the uh, command rooms, which uh, is a little bit of a problem. Maybe I should instead do this. Let me uh, quickly redesignate you. There we go. That will be a little bit better. You're a little bit closer to your place of work now. There we are. That that should help. I don't think we, we use uh, the um, engineering crew nearly as much as we use logistics for the time being. In fact, how many people work in here? Uh, crew speed crew required two. So you're telling me that I could get away with a single engineering bunk? I think that might be the final upgrade to this. I had been wondering what to do with you, but I now know. Let's pop you in there. Let's swap these out, and let's see if I can uh, hail for the rest of this crew. Can we hire another? We can hire another two. Well, okay, so that's not exactly what I wanted, but uh, it, it will work. We'll just make sure that that has got full capacity, and then the rest will remain as uh, logistics. We're, we're going to need a decent amount of logistics around here. Right, the other things that we want to do. Uh, first and foremost, I want this to be all ammo. All the time. Reserved for ammo only. And I would like these to feed. This one will feed up there. That one will feed over here. And these will feed where possible into the ammo supply. 
So if we've got ammo available, it'll go up there. Next, obviously the reactor itself should feed these, but then I want it to feed these, uh, the capacitors. Capacitor is feeding what it needs to. Let's uh, also get those ones. It's very inefficient having them to run down there, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, at this point, how much power do you actually? I don't. I don't think it makes any sense for someone to hulk a massive triple battery down to there. Instead, draw it from the capacitor. I, I think that would be a little bit more efficient. Uh, you will power all of these devices. And there we go. I think that is pretty much everything we need. All right, let's uh, make sure that these are linked up properly. There we go. Uh, as we did move around the, the build in uh, quite a few ways, so we do need to reconnect everything. But that should be all we need. Now, Dapper 2, could you please transfer some ammo across to the Scarab? Go ahead. Transfer it all. Initiate transfer. Now, you should immediately start producing more ammunition as well which is quite awesome. Uh, I could give a dedicated area for the things that we're producing. For example, right now it just kind of uh, stacks up in there. Uh, alternatively, I could as well just tell you, look, once you've made something, offload it to anywhere that, that can take it. Same for our uh, I, well, iron or steel plates foundry, because otherwise they just kind of sit there and they don't get moved out. But there we go. Loads of ammo all of the time. That is fantastic. I do kind of wish that I hadn't destroyed both bases, uh, all three bases, because we don't really have anything to test out our new amazing ship on. Uh, but at least we've already started to make use of the uh, Dapper 2's industry, but I am very, very happy with this. Hopefully we will get some more ammo. There's loads down here in the uh, in the loot pile, so we should be able to just get down there. In fact, could you go ahead and just break away? It was trying to hold position with the Dapper 2 there, which is very nice of it, I suppose. Uh, let's get right on down here, and we can grab a few things. And on the way, actually, you know what? I will showcase... The mining laser, since that's the last thing to do. There we are. Mining laser. Ultra fast. Just tore this apart. Now, one thing to be aware, there are, in any asteroid, certain things that can be gathered by hand and certain things that cannot. And the Dapper 2's mining laser can gather everything. So, large asteroids will sometimes have the best deposits on them, uh, such that you couldn't just have someone go out there and hand salvage it. Uh, so you do want a mining laser for mining. Uh, go figure. All right, let's uh, also grab as much of this as we can. Let's have a look at you and see how this looks inside. Oh my lord, it, it's kind of an eyesore, but uh, oh well. Uh, can we see? Are these getting loaded up? Yes, they are. Perfect. I am extremely happy with this. We should see all of this get loaded up and uh, stacked both of the flak turrets are now, or rather flak batteries, are fully uh, loaded, which is perfect. And the enormous crew on the Dapper 1 are going to be a lot better at just grabbing the odds and sods down here. Though the Dapper 2 is kind of full. My bad. Uh, perhaps we should expand it. But I think that that's definitely going to be something <laughs> for the next episode. I am incredibly happy with the Scarab's redesign. Though, as you can see, going to need to uh, apply the paint. Uh, whilst, uh, whilst the ability to cut and paste components is very good for building, very not good for painting, apparently. But uh, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. In the next one, ideally we'll get a chance to see the Scarab in action, as well as expanding the industrial capacity of the Dapper 2. I actually agree with the uh, all of the suggestions that just to keep this as part of a single ship for now. I don't think we really need to expand it too much more other than uh, maybe a little bit more storage space, but uh, that is going to be for tomorrow's episode. But before I leave you, once again, let me offer my sincerest thanks for all of the support you've been offering this series. The uh, button boops and indeed the very helpful comments have done more than you could possibly know. St. Algorithmus is extremely pleased, and so am I. I hope you continue to enjoy the series as much as I am enjoying recording it for you, but until next time, do take care, everyone.
Ha, you thought I was going to leave you without any combat experience for the dapper one. Oh, ye of little faith. This is going to be an extra special reward for those who sit and watch through the credits. Uh, right, let's see. We've got all of the crystals hooked up. Marvelous. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. All right, now they haven't seen me yet, which is great. Let's see how quickly we can melt through here. Now, there is a, there is basically a, an over-damage cap that you can reach. I'm not sure that we're going to be even close to that right now, but you can eventually have so much damage output that you're wasting a load of it because th there's like a, a limit to how much damage can be applied uh, to any object within within a tick. Or, you know, obviously that object exploding in that tick is uh, a good example of that. But there is, a, there is a functional limit to how many ions you should be joining together to actually uh, get any worth out of the ions uh, after a certain point you're just going to be throwing damage away uh, let's go ahead and drop a little map marker down here for wreckage there we go and let's go and clean up the rest of this asteroid field shall we there we go let's see how you can fare you're exactly the same design you're going to fare about as well as your friend did which is to say not well at all Let's have a look at the uh, Dapper 1 instead. In fact, let's uh, cinematic mode. Yeah, we definitely need a little bit more reverse thrust, I would say. Uh, and also some more sensible captains, because we're about to back into an asteroid die, which doesn't seem very good. Uh, that being said, they're also trying to approach through an asteroid, which is equally ungood. Please, no. Oh, look at that. That is probably one of the first times that we've really seen the uh, aim on this uh, kicking in. All right, let's have a watch. Could you please melt through to the cockpit? Uh, or, you know, straight through the ship, I suppose, is also an option. There we go. Oh, well, it, for a moment it looked like it was uh, working well, but uh, incoming missiles! Oh, thank goodness! We're going to get to see these properly attacking. They're tracking, and boom! Well, there we go. Another missile incoming. Let's watch these go, uh, take it out. Okay, so I am starting to see the value of flak batteries. The fact that these are basically uh, infinite hit scan weapons is just ridiculous. That That is so, so good. Goodbye, uh, Hyperion. Oh, really? That's an unfortunate break of that wreck. It's just basically there like a, like a shield. Am I melting my way through an asteroid? I think we were a little bit, actually. Okay, well, let's... Uh, move the ship into a proper position for, for this. Uh, though, never mind, it is already working on it. And we should melt through here in just a second. Though, I notice power's going offline. Disapprove. Rather large levels of disapproval, actually. Uh, we do not have, oh, it's a change of shift. Hmm. I think we could rotate these around so that the doors are a little bit closer. That would be very useful indeed but let's see the uh, scanning system come online there we go we should now be able to engage again just please pop that for me though i will say i'm very happy with watching the missiles going down i wonder if different missiles have different amounts of strength though because that could easily be the case and uh, we might come a cropper of that still either way that's going to be it for real now Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next. But until next time, and as always, do take care.